I didn't know if you would play him this week or not if you were the head coach. Hey, they got the win. You got the win, so you got to give him another I'm chance? i give him another shot. All right. I think the ratio is pretty good. He'll try to eliminate the interception, but he wants to keep that hot streak going, throwing touchdown passes. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. He's got a man complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Give him 30 yards there. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Here's a carry for the former Dolphin. It's Damian Williams. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored. Give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Flushed out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. Rosen and the Cardinals take over with a first and ten. Thousand yard rusher from a year ago. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10 yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys of over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think? 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. On second down, here's Fournette. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. The all-pro safety, Eric Berry, in on the stop. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out-leveraged them and won the battle. Rosen to throw on third down, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Here's Thomas. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know. We know where we are right now. But the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time. And they plan on putting it together formulating a streak, got the whole month of December still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. 
on first down, Love throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. They'll run it now. This is Chuck Hendrick West. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made there by Dayon Buchanan. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Third and long, it's locked. Now a hit and locked. Lost the football. It's out. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long Here afternoon for those guys Green, trying to play some defense. Green, 39! Ah! They keep it with Fournette on first down. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that one was over before it could get rolling. How about the D just knifing into the backfield and shutting that one down? All right, here we go. Blue landed. Blue landed. They go play action. It's Rosen. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Set! Green, 39! Green, 39! Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. And he comes back with one complete. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Ford and a first down carry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place you tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no game. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. All right, here we go. 319! On second down, here's Rosen. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. And that is incomplete. So we have to remember, this offensive unit, they've been off for the last two weeks. Had an open week, 
And so it might take them a little while to get back in the rhythm. I know they worked hard to try and get past that in practice, but practice isn't game speed. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Here's Luck now on second down. He's got it to West on the dump off. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And they've got it here with a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one. Under pressure and down he goes. Luck is sacked. Michael Johnson in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. That scramble good for 13 yards, but not good enough for a first down. It's fourth. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. So out now come the Cardinals. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not and it's a fumble. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Set. Green, 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. Gets past one man. Run past the 30-yard line there. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence. From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. And he's got Fitzgerald. First grab for Fitzgerald. He's got a first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, 
find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Bray does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, the good defensive position, able to affect the play. And this one complete to Jermaine Gresham. And he's going to get this inside the 30. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now's a play caller because that is happening. Rush coming, and he's taken down. D Ford in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. That'll get a little bit back, give him five on the run, and they'll be left with a third and 13. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Hurry up, here we go. Three, Third and long here for Rosen. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So a bit of a weird kick there. That wasn't an overly long attempt, but that never had a chance. You almost wonder if he might have maybe got that one on the laces because it kind of knuckled on him a bit. And this one winds up in empty possession. Now a first down throw. Lock. Dancing to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Harris. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of six there on first. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the 50, it's locked. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick. But instead, it falls down incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit. But... Only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Offense. 
So a decent game, still but all for not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. From the gun on third down, Luck. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Hurry up, here we go. 319. 319. From the gun, it's Rosen. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now let's go! Final play of the half here, it's Rosen. Bearing this one out for Fitzgerald. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Keith Racer. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently, we're going to get right back to it. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. This will be fielded at the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity. We'll see which avenue they choose to go down. Play action here with Rosen. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. Allen Bailey in there to sack him for a loss of six. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop something big to knock them back on their heels? Now it's Rosen. Trying to lay one up deep. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. <laughs> on first down, it's long. Side complete. It's Hill. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet. Did a little toe tap 
to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. They'll run again here with Lance. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. All right, it's football 101 to know that the quarterback controls just about everything on offense, but a lot of times what gets missed is that the center controls line play. He has to communicate to the guards and the tackles what type of front they're facing, how they're going to block it. And I think the ball's out, but fortunately he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. On the toss, there goes Lance. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Here's Luck. Amaro's got it, left side. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because he's got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. That right, didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Well, some good news, partner. We will <laughs> not have a scoreless tie as we finally get our first points of the contest here in quarter three. Yeah, just a field goal, but with the way those defenses ruled in the first half, that could be a big three-point play right there, couldn't it? And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Still second down. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Rosen off the play action. He's going to look deep down the field. Looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll fake it. Now Locke. Trying to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. Kelsey, the intended receiver there. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college. 
And our defense coordinator says right, we we're going to call this be who you are defense. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six yard line. Justin Houston in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. He'll get it up the middle. And he fights his way in, not giving up. And it's a Cardinal touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And this one through the uprights and good. By the way, third quarter now in Cincinnati as we take a look at the NFL scoreboard. It's the Bengals hoping to pull off a bit of a shocker. They lead in that one. A.J. Green, a strong game thus far catching the football in that one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Andrew Luck and company heading back onto the field. He's likely still kicking himself from the interception last drive that wound up leading to a go-ahead score. And he's going to assume all that came with that one, all right? That's all on him, but he also knows he's got to erase it from his mind and get back out there. This drive is very important. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be... Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Chandler Jones. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence, or you think you're really going to fake a map. And it looks like it. The Chiefs on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, here's Love. He's got the hookup with Conley. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44 yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And Wow, they've done that in a big way. And not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, well, guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. They'll fake the handoff. Now Locke. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 30 yards there. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Luck throwing again. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Play action. Luck. And incomplete on the 
deep ball. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit because... If you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off, because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor, for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. They'll try and run some clock with Fournette. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Allen Bailey in on the stop. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. All right, here we go. Off the play fake. Here's Rosen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock Let's the ball go. free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Green 39! Green 39! Rosen to throw. He'll check this one off to Fournette. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. They'll look to throw. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Back to throw. And Conway's got it over the middle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A nice gain of 21 yards. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. He'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The veteran safety, Antoine Bethay, there on the defensive coverage. This secondary as a unit, they've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. He is going to find Hill here. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill with time running out. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. How many people watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah, what looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. says the side judge incomplete. So the inability there to get the two-point conversion sort of leaves the door at least a little bit more ajar. And puts the onus now on the kickoff team and the defense to make sure they don't give up a big play that puts them in position to lose. Especially on this kickoff. Got to be careful. Josh Rosen and company getting set for their next possession. And yeah, this is a spot where you can learn a lot about a young quarterback. And that's why they brought him into the organization. Because you don't just bring them in strictly for their talent. You think that they have that something special in them. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. They're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. He's back to throw. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. So another big shot dodged there defensively. Now just one more incompletion away from salting away this victory. And I know this feeling. They're almost giddy, but they have to stay focused and locked in. They can make one big mistake and throw it all away. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. And that one is incomplete, and now we're inside of 10 seconds. Just nine remain. So the defense had one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that now makes this a 15-7 game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Rosen and the Cardinals take over with a first and ten. One final shot here for Rosen. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball 